Buddy, how is life in Windsor? Does it sucks or is it beautiful? What is it look like if you want to live in Windsor? Then this video is for you. I'm going to go over all the pros and cons of living in Windsor, Ontario. Namaskar, Adabarse, Vanakam, what's up everyone? Hope you guys doing fantastic. If you're new to this channel, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't hit that subscribe button or the bell notification, do so for an awesome content regarding real estate, Windsor, Ontario, and my personal journey as a realtor, investor, and many other financial related topics. So if you've been following me, you know what I'm gonna ask you, hit that thumbs up button because if you don't, then YouTube doesn't promote my videos and it doesn't reach out to the targeted people who really can benefit out of this content. So do me that favor, please. So if you know me for a while, you know that I'm living in Windsor, Ontario since last five years. And also I own a bunch of properties and also I'm a realtor here in Windsor. So in this video, I'm gonna share my opinions but along with that i actually made a post on facebook few days ago asking other windsorites to tell me how they feel about windsor life what they like what they don't like so i got a lot of comments so this video is pretty much like combination of from other people's opinion who are living here and also my own personal opinions so again you know if you have any other your own opinions about windsor please let me know in the comments below i love to know so this is video is just like opinions that I knew. So to start with, one of the common uh, answer I got from others and also my personal feeling is Windsor has a beautiful riverside. I love that. You know, I personally, me and Mamta used to go for biking every day when I lived just uh, across from the river, pretty much like every weekend we go for biking. And whenever possible, I go for running on the trail because it makes you feel so good walking or running on that five kilometers trial along the river. So that's so beautiful. And also by watching that uh, Detroit uh, downtown colorful, um, you know, it's, it's beautiful. And the second positive thing that I feel, and also from others, uh, is having Detroit. You know, Detroit is one of the biggest city in US, which is like literally two kilometers from Windsor by tunnel or bridge. So from tunnel, you literally go to the downtown of Detroit, where there are like four popular games in North America arenas in Detroit. So which is like huge thing because, you know, if you're living in Toronto, why people love to live in Toronto? Because they have access to all these nice events and everything. But Windsor, even though it's a small city, but we have access to a bigger city. You know, that's a, that's a cool thing. That's what many people love about. That's actually a good thing in terms of uh, not only just the entertainment, but also employment. Because, you know, many people, I know at least uh, uh, five or six clients that I knew who are like, uh, some of them are nurses, some of them are uh, IT job holders. They work in Detroit and they live in Windsor because they, they have, get all the financial benefits of living, in, like health benefits in Windsor. Whereas um, in Detroit, the dollar rate is higher and also the, the salaries are higher. And reason number three, Windsor has one of the best weather compared to um, like most of the cities in Ontario. You know, pretty much like uh, you can golf all around uh, year, all year around if you are like a uh, golfer, if you love golfing. So that means what it means for people like, especially many people who are like at, at the stage like they are retired or retiring they love to live in Windsor because you know now you have a beautiful weather and you can golf year around and you can go to all these games like I mentioned in the past one and the number four is the the less traffic you know it's not the big city right like it's it's only 300,000 population pretty much you can go from one end to another end of Windsor within like 15 minutes that's pretty much like you know it's a good thing for many people like me, you know, even like when I used to live in Toronto a few years ago, I, for some reason, like I hate it because I have to be from, go from one, um, from my workplace, from Scarborough to uh, Eglinton, which is like almost one and a half hour travel by subway. And if I take the car, that's totally forget. So again, if, if someone, you know, uh, especially someone like me who likes to have less, um, travel time and, and more uh, personal time, then this is 
the kind of city that you know you can you can live number five windsor still has one of the most affordable prices in canada competitive to uh, many other cities you know it's a good thing for most of the homeowners and also it's a good thing for renters too because in, even the rents competitive to the rest of the cities still like windsor in an affordable range and you know cost of living is lower in general overall if you haven't watched my other video the cost of living of windsor you can check out that where i went through like a detailed analysis of how much it would cost for you to live in windsor and number six this is my favorite one because you can find awesome cash flowing properties especially if you're an investor because a lot of investors mentioned you know they love to have cash flow so in in many major cities like toronto or, or brampton or, or mississauga or many other cities the, the cash flow is not there so if you're a, a lower middle class or just working class like me where you don't have a lot of cash in hand that you can invest then this is the city that where you can buy properties that the income is good enough to pay all your expenses so that's one thing that many investors told me that they love and also i personally love about windsor so you can still find cash flow properties and number seven windsor has one of the best pizzas in canada again you know this is the answer i got from a couple of my friends who born and raised in canada so they love some pizza places in windsor number eight it's one of the peaceful city you know it's not too much uh, like noisy or not too much uh, go 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 like like bigger cities you know it's it's like life is more um, it's like a roller coaster but whereas windsor it's more like a uh, peaceful you know you don't have to like rush too much it's more you know in simple it's more like peaceful life especially people are at an age like they want to retire or they want to have like less stress now th that's again this is not my answer this is something that i got from my facebook and ninth one is Windsor has a casino <laughs> you know that's that's one of my favorite places actually me and my wife's favorite place we love playing roulette whenever we get time so it's the best place to have some fun <laughs> but <laughs> if you get addicted that's tough but uh, you know I know many cities doesn't have that so having a casino in a small city like this is fantastic and last and final 10th positive is Windsor actually surprisingly a multicultural uh, you know it's a lot of multicultural uh, like you know a lot of people from different cultures are living in Windsor I'm from India born and raised and I have a lot of Indians here and there are a lot of Chinese a lot of uh, Middle Easterns um, actually I see a, a lot of Middle Easterns in, in a couple of areas where beautiful food they have like fantastic uh, tasty food and also like you know different parts of the country's world or like you can find in Windsor so it's it's a good thing you know now we all share uh, different values so we can like collaborate and become uh, the best now I know you've been waiting for the curious important one is the cons what's the downside of living in Windsor yes I'm getting to that you know the biggest thing that I hear from many people again I would agree to my some extent I'll share why but the biggest thing is Windsor still has um, highest unemployment rate which means jobs are less in Windsor you know I have seen this comments in my channel as well many in many of my videos I see some people post that oh Windsor has no jobs yes again I agree you know that's totally true but here's what I have I've been seeing from last few years so first of all Detroit is slowly coming up a lot of IT jobs moving in the Detroit downtown if you know the history of it until 2016 17 it was almost like people scared to walk in the downtown in the evenings but now it's it's revitalizing you know there are a couple of big shots billionaires uh, started improvising the whole city now you know before you can you would have got a condo for 50,000 but now you have to spend like 100 100 200,000 so there is like a lot of growth happening what does that mean for Windsor people because Windsor people can now work in Detroit and live in Windsor and also another thing that I've been started to see again maybe it could take few more years like slowly now people can work from home the option is slowly becoming reality because of this COVID again you know that's another shift I'm predicting will be more and more will happen where people can live anywhere 
and work from home for bigger companies whatever the company that you're working for especially IT sector and especially people who are like self-employed because this technology man fantastic many people can find self-employment online like you know they do courses they do videos they do you know mentoring they do yoga training or they do gym training so many things that you could do from your computer from your video right so that's that's a cool thing again I know it's it, it takes years but I, I I'm been seeing slowly this impact Detroit and this thing and I'll also it's like in Windsor too like we slowly have like last year we had a, a the guy who owns the quicken loans he actually started a franchise in Windsor a software franchise of course at this point there are only like 40 employees or something but again slowly things are moving the bridge construction is coming based on their predictions like based on their plans they're gonna hire more people in next couple of years and they might build a mega hospital in next two years so i'm hoping slowly that will increase the, the number of employments in windsor will go up slowly but again at the end windsor is not of a employment city it's more like a retirement place where you can have a nice peaceful you know life yeah, that, that's what I feel but yeah that's a fact I cannot uh, say no for less jobs yes there are less jobs in Windsor another a negative thing that I heard from many people and I felt too is like many cities will have a beautiful downtown and unfortunately Windsor still doesn't have it Windsor downtown still is not that great of course we have casino of course we have some nice bars and restaurants but it's still like you know not up to the many people's expectations and I, and I've been seeing slowly cities you know the city now giving some grants to improve you know you no know, development cost in in this downtown area lowering the taxes that's doing some certain things where to attract investors to develop that area again you know it might take few years to improve but definitely that's a negative side that I've seen and many people see too and number three is you know Windsor doesn't have that many attractions you know of course we do have a point Pili um, we have a nice beautiful riverside but other than that there is not much to you know go see in Windsor of course we have Detroit and after Detroit there are like a lot of things to do there but in city pretty much like maybe a couple of nice parks but that's me that's it pretty much and number four I don't have anything <laughs> I couldn't come up anymore these are the only things I can find about the negatives I know I'm trying to be a little bit uh, one side but again that's what I feel personally really I, I, I love the life in Windsor again this is me again I'm not trying to compare with any other cities uh, trust me this is just the, the love I have for my city uh, which I'm living in and I love to hear from you guys if you've been living here in Windsor let me know you know if there is anything negative you know just I, I love to know and if you are agree with me on this points you know I uh, love to hear those points and uh, if you like it don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and have a wonderful day guys